Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be joining you to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Broadbent Commission for Sustainable Development. Ten years ago, UNESCO had the honor of supporting the creation of this commission. Since then, we've had the honor of working alongside its two co-chairs, His Excellency Paul Kagame and uh, our dear friend Carlos Slim, as well, of course, as the International Telecommunication Union and its Secretary General, Ulin Zhao. None of us expected to celebrate this 10th anniversary in such unusual circumstances, or in circumstances that so clearly underline the Commission's relevance. As lockdown measures were implemented around the world, we saw how essential connectivity really was. We saw how important it was for accessing education and culture, for promoting quality, reliable information, for teleworking and staying in touch with friends and families. We were able to measure what we already guessed and knew. Half of the world's population lacks access to the internet, and because of this, they lack so much more. The digital divide amplifies other divides, for example, in the field of education. At the height of school and university closures, 1.5 billion learners were unable to attend class. Of these young people, 46% had no internet access at home. This is why, in the midst of this crisis, UNESCO launched the Global Education Coalition, bringing together over 150 partners from a wide range of fields. The coalition is working to guarantee access to educational content by offering a for instance, free data subscription, thanks to our partners, by equipping students and by training teachers. Indeed, having access to the internet and digital technologies is not enough. Having the right skills is equally important. The lack of digital skills has become a major obstacle, as the Commission has shown in its reports. This deficit is exacerbating inequalities. Firstly, between states, it affects 90% of least developed countries, compared to 70% of the global population on average. But the deficit is also widening gaps between genders, because women are four times less likely that, than men to master basic digital skills, according to UNESCO's publication, I'd blush if I could. In all these areas, our commission has a key role to play, and I'm sure that its actions will continue to advance an ambitious agenda. As we embark on a new decade of action for global common goods, UNESCO is fully committed to making digital technology a tool for progress and freedom in all the fields covered by our mandate, education, science, culture, freedom of expression and access to information. Digital technology could be the tool we need for human-centered emancipation. But to play this role, it needs our expertise and cooperation, because we need to pool all of our resources if we are to rise to the challenge of connectivity and competencies. In my view, this is the significance of the reports produced by the two working groups co-chaired by UNESCO. These documents, published today, focus on two crucial questions, school connectivity and the promotion of reliable quality information. I thank you for your attention and wish us all a very happy anniversary.